What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. You can see on the screen right now the teams that I'm going to be using to go back up through the divisions. In the last episode, we played our first game of Division 10. Um, you're going to see as per the title of uh, this video that we're, we're making our way up through the divisions quite quickly. First of all, I just want to uh, say something regarding people relegating themselves. Score the damn own goal. Don't be that guy. I came across 14 people on my games to, uh, throughout this episode um, who were re like relegating themselves and only four of them scored an own goal. That's just shitty. It takes you like five extra seconds to score the own goal instead of just pausing it and quitting. And it, as well, it's easy for me to make it easy for you because as soon as you score the own goal, because you can't press pause because it's effectively my goal and I have to skip the replays and stuff, I will just pause it instantly so you can quit instantly. Doesn't take too long. One guy as well, actually, he, he like passed it around his midfield a bit, passed it back to his keeper, knocked it towards the goal. As soon as it got close to the line, he paused it and quit. Don't be a dickhead about it. There's no need. Um, what you're going to see from today's episode is... The games that I did play all the way through, you're not going to see the games where people rage quit against me um, without scoring. You're also not going to see the games where people rage quit against me with scoring um, because there's just not like, you know, what kind of video entertainment is that showing you something like that. Um, throughout this video as well, I'll show at the end of t uh, yeah tomorrow's video, I think, the footies that I've invested in um, because I'm kind of like buying and selling a few players right now. For example, I bought two Slimanis for 9,900 coins. I don't necessarily know or think Slimani is going to win. It could be Adariz from that category. Um, it could be, uh, is it Mandzukic from that category? It most likely will be Mandzukic because he doesn't have a team of the season yet. Um, but what you've got to remember is these pink cards will stay pink when the best ones are in packs. So like, let's say Mandzukic wins and his price you know, triples or whatever. Slimani is no longer going to be coming out of packs as a pink player. He'll be as his regular player, which means the demand for the pink cards will eventually slowly rise. And although it might only rise to like 11,000, 12,000, 13,000 coins, I've still got a couple of them that I bought for 9,900 that I can discard for 9,700. So I'll lose a maximum of 200 coins on them. Or I could sell them for 11, 12, 13,000 and make a little bit of profit. So, you know, I'm, I'm there. I'm trying to figure out what to do with my coins ultimately. Because at this moment in time, I'm not really sure. I'm just not really sure who to invest in, where to invest. But we've got all the way up until Friday at 6 p.m. Um, to to make uh, make our decisions and our investments. And uh, basically, I'm hoping that I can get back up to Division One in pretty quick time. But of course, it, it does make it a little bit. Obviously, for every time that somebody rage quit against me and gave me the win, and those that didn't, the timing is about the same. Because going into the game, finding the game them rage quitting, then having to find another game, you know, if you do that three or four times and then someone rage quits, you you ultimately may as well have just played the game. But uh, yeah, we're, we're up into uh, right now, this is still Division 10, which obviously uh, is and should be easy. But because of the way things are working right now, the divisions are obviously so screwed that you just, you're just facing all sorts of people all over the place. Like, I came up against one guy who had like a uh, starter pack team, like a proper starter pack team. And I thought, okay, this guy's relegating himself. And he wasn't. He was just playing with a starter pack team because he's obviously just started FIFA. On the other hand, I came up against a guy who had like a legend in his team and a cup, I think, two blue cards. And with him, I was like, all right, well, this guy's probably uh, relegated himself all the way down. And now he's like building his way back up. But he was, he was just garbage at FIFA. So maybe that was a mistake. Maybe he, that was just his division. And then in division, I think, nine, I think actually this game here, division 10, came up against a guy who had just an average team and he was actually pretty good at FIFA so the division system is a mess right now um you know that we don't know who's where or what but as you can see that was the the win that I needed to get the coins I ended up picking up 4,400 coins for that 56% possession seven shots for me uh we get ourselves the four wins relatively easy um You'll actually see, I think, in Division 9, um, I actually, I rage quit a game because this guy, like, it, it was called Have a Free Win. His team name was, like, Have a Free Win or something, or I'm relegating myself. And uh, as soon as he kicked off, he paused it. So I just quit before him so that he then has to go through the process and didn't get awarded the loss. 
just to waste his time a bit more because if you're going to waste my time and I don't need the wins because it was Division 9 and I was like pretty much guaranteed to go, you know, get promoted anyway, I will waste your time. If you're going to waste my time, I will try my best to waste your time and uh, that's just, you know, that's just how it's going to be. Um, now, there was a comment in yesterday's video that I really, really want to talk about. Uh, before, before that though, this game here that I'm playing is against a viewer and we had a little message exchange afterwards discussing the game and such. And uh, at 1-0 up for me, and even before then, he was on park the bus and he stayed on park the bus. And I've, I eventually, like, I was basically trying to pass it around my defence to kill the game because he was killing the game, you know, by being part of the bus and stuff. Um, I actually gifted him the ball by mistake with the goalkeeper and he scored. I ended up scoring again and uh, you'll see that by the match stats here that I had, like, just unbelievable amounts of possession. Um, and I set my team up like that because he was on part of the bus, even at 2-1 down. He just didn't care. He just sat on part of the bus. So I thought, you know what, screw it. Let me just do the, let, you know, if, again, if you're going to waste my time, I'm going to waste your time. Um... So uh, he messaged me after the game saying, come on, Nep. I was like, you know, I was like, dude, you was on part of the bus. Like, what do you want me to do? Go all out attack and let you counter me. And he was like, oh, I was on part of the bus just because I, I can't I can't honestly remember the exact exchange of words. But, you know, he, he had his excuses. I had my reasons. He had his reasons. And ultimately, I got what I needed, which was the three points. Um, so there was a comment in yesterday's video saying, if you hold in Division 9, you get a UNICEF kit. Uh, a badge and some packs it's not true at least i don't think it's true i didn't i've never held in division nine but there was a couple of people on that comment that said this isn't true i've, I've done it it doesn't work and there was a couple of people said this is true i've done it and it worked but i can't imagine that this is in the game and people don't know about it because the amount of people that would actually hold in division nine would be high to the point where this would become apparent really really quickly now there is a unicef kit in the game it's like those it's like like the division one kit or the um ea access kits and such you can't buy it you can't pack it um all, all you can do is like all you can do is see it which i guess means that it's there for something perhaps a charity game you know perhaps it's there for pro players that give gets given to and i mean like the real football players not the pro FIFA players like the actual pro players um, that have their cards, maybe they get to have that kit. I don't really know about it, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts and, and feedback on what we think this kit might be or might mean. But don't fall for any scams of people saying, oh yeah, if you buy X kit for 5K, it discards for 10K, because it's a lie, and you're just buying people's kits for 5K, and that's just stupid. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't believe it, because it just seems like too good to be true like why would put ea put something in the game where if you hold in division nine you get a free kit a free badge and some packs it just doesn't make any sense at all it really really doesn't um so i can't imagine it's true and uh i, I just i just don't i just don't think so but anyway guys we get a six nil win in division nine of course it should be quite easy for me to move up through the divisions i am going to try and play the hell out of this account over the next five days because i want to earn as many coins as possible before the footies are announced as the winners however um these coin unlocks these double coins are available until the 5th of august which is the following friday um so they're there for two weeks they're there for the entirety of the footies which is fantastic and I'm seeing a lot of people, a lot of people obviously relegated themselves for the free coins. They've, you know, destroyed their records. Not that that matters. Like record is just, it doesn't change your level of skill if you've got a worse record because you wanted to get some coins. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of people actually staying in Division 1 or Division 2 or Division 3 or whatever division like kind of fits them. Because they're getting so many relegators... They're just easily winning titles, which makes no sense. This guy showed me a picture um, of his Division One run last night, and in eight, he won all eight games. He only played two games, and he got eight rage quitters in a row, and they all scored an own goal for him. So he made an easy thirty thousand coins. Now to relegate yourself, it takes about two hours, two and a half hours, three hours if people like waste time and stuff, um, and you get like forty-four, forty-five thousand coins for it. To win Division 1 right now, you get 30,000 coins and, and it could potentially be just as quick if people rage quit against you a lot. So, I don't know. For me, it's interesting that uh, some people have decided to stick it out and try and win the Division titles and some people have relegated themselves. And, you know, for, for me, it's just a very, very uh, interesting scenario on who chooses to do what. And uh, 
I don't know, some people care about records. I, I generally and typically speaking do care about my record. I, I think uh, having a good record, it, it's, it's nice to see a good record up there. It kind of, it does give an indication of skill to other people, but it doesn't change your skill level. Like me relegating myself and picking up 66 losses doesn't make me a worse player. You know, I'm still the same person, the same player, as good as a game as I was before those 66 losses. It's just that I gave myself those 66 losses for the benefit of the series. Um, but if if you care about what other people think of your record, like let's say you've got some friends and this one guy's got a little bit of a better record than you and you'd love to have your record as good as him, you probably wouldn't want to relegate yourself because you wouldn't want to, uh, you wouldn't want to give yourself all those losses uh, just for the sake of uh, a few thousand coins, you know. Uh, one other interesting thing that I wanted to mention, which I can't, I can't confirm or deny, but maybe some of you guys can, is that this mystery pack tournament, apparently you can only win it three times before it no longer gives you the mystery pack, which I think is ridiculous because it's a mystery pack that at times could be a contract pack. Why are you limiting the EA to three contract packs? Um, some guy messaged me and he said, oh, like after the third win, I just get the premium gold coins pack or whatever that pack is, the premium coins pack. And I said, as he got proof? And he sent me a screenshot, but it was like, it was a really, really blurry screenshot. And it did look like it didn't, it just said that he had the coins there and not the pack. Um, but it wasn't like clear enough to be conclusive to the point where I would say it is true or not true. So if you guys do have any more information on that, if it is only three wins before, uh, three tournament wins before the mystery pack disappears, um, that's pretty crappy, but that will probably encourage me to play that tournament a couple of times to try and get it. I've already won it once on this account. If I could win it the two more times and get that mystery pack two more times, that might be more beneficial than playing the divisions right now because the division stuff, the double coin reward is here until the 5th of August. So, you know, there's way more time. However, the next tournament is out in like, what, a day or so? Um, so, uh, yeah, um, may maybe the next tournament, maybe we'll just wait for that and, and use the coins that we've got to build the team for whatever the next tournament is and uh, do our best. So the next game we come up against, I do believe that this is now Division 8, I, I think. I can't remember specifically. Uh, I would have shown if we had already won the Division 9 ma match coins. But uh, this guy here I came up against, it was an interesting player. He actually was decent enough, like held his own. He had a pretty weak team. Um, he kept getting rebound goals as well. I think all three of his first goals were rebound goals. His second one definitely was just there. And then he gets in the box again, hits the post, and there's another rebound. And I was sitting there like, come on, man. Like, am I really going to get a loss from a guy that's just scoring rebound after rebound after rebound? And uh, ultimately, the answer to that question was uh, was no, because I did manage to uh, come through and uh, get the win that I, that I needed, that I wanted. Wayne Rooney here steps in, shoots and scores, puts the ball in the back of the net, put it back to 3-2 after 42 minutes. And then on the stroke of half time, we got ourselves a penalty. Yaya Torre steps up, smashes that one, bottom left corner, and makes it 3-3. And then into the second half, we went. And uh, I think it was quite late on. It was late on, 70 minutes here. Eden Hazard down the left-hand side just absolutely destroys John Stones for pace. Uses that right analog stick to get ahead. I see him pulling the shirt there, so I give him a little bit of the shoulder. Cut that across. Alexis Sanchez is there. He shoots, he scores. I'm really interested to improve this BPL team because I think the La, the La Liga team that we've got, or the La Liga Bundesliga hybrid, is a nice team. And to upgrade it is way expensive. Like the, the next version of Neymar, the informed Bale, an informed Suarez, a Ronaldo, a Messi, they're, they're, they're a little bit too expensive right now. But this BPL team, like, you know, getting the informed De Bruyne in, or the informed Rooney, it's not like too much to ask. So, you know, I, I could potentially upgrade this team. Now, as you can see there, we picked up 6,416 coins for our Division 9 title win, which was very nice indeed. And I think I showed the division right at the end here, and you will see that loss where I purposely rage quit. And I think I only showed two games of Division 9 in this uh, this series, this video as well, which means I've got three rage quits on my way up to Division 8. The first opponent we come up against in Division 8, he's got a pretty nice BPL team. Sorry, pretty nice Spanish team with obviously the BPL striker there, uh, the I-Man of the Match version, which is a nice card. I was looking at it for this series uh, when it first came out in packs because he's really cheap. And uh, things started off pretty well for us three minutes in. Uh, Achiro Vidal steps up to take the penalty, 1-0 after three minutes. And then just two minutes later, Luis Suarez there hits him with the uh, little uh, step over exit, passes it off to Vidal. Vidal passes it back into Suarez. Suarez gets into the space, finesses it to the far post, shoots and scores. And after just six minutes, 
we find ourselves two goals up. And then after just 13, 14 minutes, ball comes out to Sergio Ramos down the right-hand side, plays into Gareth Bale, slots that one through to Modric, who plays the one-two with Luis Suarez. Keeper comes off his line. Lovely bit of work from Luka Modric, makes it 3-0 after 14 minutes. And I'm thinking to myself, this is my first three points of this division. And indeed it was. He rage quit after 14 minutes. And for me, that felt like a guy who just kind of deserves to be in that division. I don't think he's relegated himself necessarily. I think he's just there because that's that's kind of his level of play, which is totally okay. You know, everyone's uh, everyone's got to be somewhere. Next opponent we come up against, really, really interesting team. When you see someone with like the 90 Neymar and the striker bail, you think, okay, they've got coins. But then he's got like Neom at right back and the silver Wes Morgan and, you know, a couple of non-rare gold cards where he could have better versions of better cards. And I just sit there thinking like, if that were me, personally, I would sell that bail and improve the entire team and then kind of like build up back towards getting that striker bail because a better team is always better than just one superstar player, in my opinion. Um, so that's where we're at. Anyway, he rage quit at 1-0. It was quite, quite an easy win. One of the easier wins that I've had. As you can see, it was only 1-0 after uh, 16 minutes, but he decided to quit. In between those two games, I did get two bonus rage quit uh, victories. Then I came up against this guy, JFT96. His team name was I Am Relegating. Uh, he's got a right mid in goal. He's got a striker at left back. You know, he's he's got, um, he's got a whole bunch of absolutely retarded players in retarded positions and he then ended up playing the whole game against me and when I said to him, like he messaged me after like a good game and it was kind of like wait what the fuck and he said he's a division one player um, and when he came up against me obviously he's relegating himself when he came up against me and noticed it was me um, he wanted to see if he could score against me with this team which was fair enough uh, fortunately enough for me um, he couldn't score against me with this team so uh Sorry, I just got to sort my video out there. So yeah, he, he didn't end up scoring against me. Um, and I was very, very happy about how that, obviously. Uh, so we end up going 2-0 up and eventually get a third goal. Luka Modric here plays it into Suarez, the drag back. He tackles me pretty well. For some reason, the shot animation that I tried to shoot straight away, the shot animation took off. Um, and Suarez put it in the back of the net on the stroke of half time. Gareth Bell cuts inside here, gets in behind the defence. Slots that one across to Vidal. The finesse shot was brilliant. Uh, like, you know, he's got a right, a silver right mid in goal. He's barely going to make any saves here. And, and it's shown really true. Uh, Neymar to Modric. Look at that. The keeper's just standing there. He's, I don't know what, like, what do you expect from uh, from from the guy? And then uh, late on in the game, Vidal, finesse shot from, uh, from range. Hits it with his left foot. Falls into the back of the net. We end up scoring a sixth. And that was the three points that we needed, guys, to get ourselves... Uh, into division seven so we've gone through three divisions really really quickly we pick up 8500 coins right there which was obviously very very nice you know it's good to get up through the first three divisions real quick because now we start to see the big coin increases uh, for winning the titles and hopefully it should be quite easy to win those titles as well especially with people relegating themselves should really be benefit us moving through the uh, through the ranks but that's going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.